Today is August 19th, 2019, and this is the uh, spaghetti squash field where we planted the squash into the beds of plastic that were laid last fall uh, with the, the rolled cover crop, the rye in between the rows. And this is after the plants have died back. We've been harvesting. We have a little bit left to harvest there. Um, but you can kind of see what the field looks like uh, overall. Uh, so, I mean, we got a really good crop out of it, it seems. Um, this squash is pretty aggressive. Uh, and, but yeah, my opinion is that the best weed control for winter squash is a vigorous winter squash crop. Um, but you can see what's in here, what did grow up in between. Some lands quarters, some morning glory but most like and and various more like kind of perennial type of things um you can see right now there is some it looks like gallon soak is starting to pop up uh but there's really not hardly any gallon soak in here which is what i've noticed from other experiment experiments with the with the using the with the the mulched the mulch cover crop that rolled cover crop used as a mulch. Um, there's some spot, there's some nut sedge in here that's coming up, um, but that we certainly did not get in the way of the winter squash, and they're just not going to pose that much of a problem. So this is the part we've not harvested yet. You can see this plants did great, um, and, and they're not, I mean they're not like perfectly clean, but they're, um, I feel like they're cleaner than than if they were just sitting on the dirt. I feel like, I feel like there's probably like more pro problems associated with, you know, having the fruits develop on bare dirt. Um, and so I did, so from the other videos, uh, we did cheat a little bit. Um, we did put some wood chips down in bare spots, especially along the edges of the beds where it seems like weeds might be coming through. And we did come through and pull some weeds, mostly like perennial type of weeds. Um, over, this is over here, this is the weediest spot probably. Uh, these things, Pennsylvania smart weed, maybe. This is um, whatever that stuff's called, yellow wood sorrel. Um, yeah, we did pull some weeds when the plants were still kind of small. Um, and I think that this is the first year of production of cash crop production in this field. So it's, um, it's, it's been in cover crop for a few years. I think if it had been cash cropped and, and had better weed control, like a lower weed seed bank, or especially like the perennial weeds had been kind of eradicated from it prior, then we'd have better results, even. Although I think this is this looks pretty good, um, but I do think this is uh, doable on a bigger scale uh, to grow the cover crop in place. I, I mean, it's, it's a matter of getting all the you know the exact details ironed out, of getting the spacing just right, getting the getting the plastic laid just right so the edges are just you know the right shape and you can get a nice bed for the cover crop and get it seated well uh, have it have, get a good stand and be able to roll it effectively too um, I think I think it's promising and yeah so but overall good good yield on the spaghetti squash good quality so I'm happy with this and that's about all I have to say about that.